Bath. Let's get into my panel, wonderful panel tonight. Nicole Flint, former Liberal MP for Boothby in South Australia, and Christy McSweeney, Managing Director of PR Council. Ladies, welcome. Women's rights, these rallies across the country. A bit of nonsense today from Lydia Thorpe. Let's put her to one side because I think the crux of the issue is too important to be lost to the noise, and that's about women's rights and their collision or the collision really of trans rights with women's rights and the erasing of women. Nicole, how have we got to the position where a Victorian Liberal MP, Moira Deeming, is caught up on all of this, facing an expulsion motion from the Liberal Party party room on Monday? I do not know how we got to this point, Peter. All I can say is the Victorian division of the Liberal Party of Australia seem to have abandoned our founding principles of freedom of speech, freedom of thought and freedom of association and replaced them with cancellation by association, which I don't think the Victorian Liberal Party grassroots members are going to be happy with if this now means, if the standard that... MPs and members will be held by is, have you done a thorough CV check of every single person that anyone you associate with has ever met, spoken to or been interviewed by? This is a very dangerous new precedent. It's outrageous. And what's most upsetting is that this Moira was standing up for women's rights. So they need to have a good hard look at themselves. Look, whatever way it goes, I think John Pizzuto will be torn down by this issue. The party base, Christy, you know them well in Victoria. They are very much behind Moira redeeming. Whatever way the result goes, she will still remain a Liberal, she says to me. And he, of course, then uh, has to deal with the fallout. How do we get to the situation where, you know, 10 years ago, five years ago, it would have been left-wing people fronting these women's rights rallies. Now, if a right-wing is turning up, there's a counter-protest of how dare you go there and stand up for women. Well, Peter, I'm going to disagree with you and Nicole, respectively, and you make the point that 10 years ago... Well, 10 years ago, you could identify as a Conservative and from the right of the Liberal Party, and I've spent my career doing so, and you could think that abortion should be legal and free. You could think a whole raft of other things. You could think that Australia should be secular in its politics and perhaps religion and religious influence shouldn't play such a role in our conservative part of our Liberal Party. Now you can't. Mm. There are a number of boxes that you have to tick because being a Conservative, as I was 10 years ago or 20 years ago and still are, still are is not good enough anymore. You have to be increasingly on board with fringe right-wing ideology as escalated yeah, I I, I disagree. to the, be the most important issues in the party room. Well, we can respectfully I disagree. disagree. I'm, a, I'm, a conservative. I'm, a, I'm a conservative and I do not tick all those boxes. And I don't think anyone would say, neither anyone remotely would say no, neither, that neither I'm a moderate I, liberal, that I'm a progressive liberal. Absolutely, as am I, and I don't tick those boxes either, but people who seem to support Moira Deeming and her actions, not on this particular issue, there's a whole raft of issues this person, this Member of Parliament, elected member to the Crown, is known for around those other issues that I just mentioned. And I think she firmly is yeah, in just, the camp Christy, that, of that... a fringe element of the party. Yeah, Which was can, elected by the rank and file of the party. Yeah. OK. But yeah, surely you can course. distinguish issues that uh, she might have on a platform that you don't agree with, but still back in her right to defend women. Of course. And I defend her for the cause. I defend her right to promote pro-women uh, and to highlight that women are being disadvantaged uh, through uh, the elevation of, of fringe issues of trans rights, absolutely. Uh, but I think there's more to meets the eye uh, in seeking to have this person dismissed um, from the Liberal Party as opposed to just this one particular issue. Unfortunately, though, when you move and notice a motion for expulsion, you've got to put the case, don't you, Nicole? And we've, we've seen the case. It's flimsy. And as you say, it's guilt by association. 
totally Peter. This is uh, from the document that I've seen that I be believe has been published quite widely now. It's uh, completely to do with Moira Deeming's appearance at the Let Women, Women Speak rally and the fact that that was organised um, by um, Kelly Jane Keeley, who uh, shares views or has been interviewed by people. Sorry, there are a raft of allegations, many of which have now been refuted. Uh, but I'd also say it's Moira's right to hold conservative uh, Christian views or conservative views, and there should always be a place in the Liberal Party for that. So I'm really... Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm upset uh, to hear anyone suggest that the Liberal Party isn't a broad church where you can express views that are not necessarily held by perhaps 50, 60, 70, 80 percent of the population. But I thought we were a broad church and that freedom of speech was sacrosanct. All right, I've got to leave there. I'm out of time. We didn't even get to education, but we'll do that tomorrow night. Thank you, Christy McSweeney, Nicole Flint.